Hey guys, today we're working on chapter 5 on trigonometric functions. Specifically, we're in section 5.2 on sine and cosine functions. So we're working through problem 49. Problem 49 says we're going to find four things. We're going to find the reference angle, the quadrant of the terminal side of the angle, the sine of the angle, and the cosine of the angle. And the angle that we're given is uh, theta equals 7 pi over 4. So before we can find the reference angle, we need to know what quadrant the angle's in. So we know that since it's 7 pi over 4, and we know the unit circle, we know that the terminal side of 7 pi over 4 is going to be in this quadrant right here. And we've got quadrant 1, 2, 3. So that means we are in quadrant 4. So we've got the first part, the second part of the problem figured out. And now that we've got the quadrant, we can go ahead and find the reference angle. So the equation for the reference angle changes depending on which quadrant you're in. If you turn to page 466 in your books, it gives you a nice table of which equation to use when. So if we're, since we're in quadrant four, we have the equation that the reference angle equals two pi minus the angle. So since our angle is seven pi over four, our reference angle is two pi minus seven pi over four, which equals pi over four. So we can write that in up here. Our reference angle is pi over four. Now, we're gonna find the sine of the angle and the cosine of the angle. Well, we know this from the unit circle. Since seven pi over four is on the unit circle, let me draw it again. We've got our point here, and on the unit circle, we have our points listed in x comma y, also in cosine of theta, comma sine theta. So all we need is the point coordinates of our seven pi over four angle. And then we'll have our cosine and our sine theta. If you don't already have the unit circle memorized, you will soon. There's also a picture of it on page 468 of your books. So we know that the cosine of seven pi over four is the square root of two over two and the sine of seven pi over four equals negative root two over two. And we put those right up here. And we've done the problem. We figured out the reference angle, the quadrant of the terminal side, the sine of the angle, and the cosine of the angle. I hope you found this video really helpful. Uh, the concepts we covered in this video are true no matter what pre-calculus class you take. And the examples I cover are from this textbook right here. And remember, if you're a Baylor student currently enrolled, there is free tutoring on the first floor of Sidrich. You can create a one-on-one -on -one appointment online or drop in anytime during our business hours. Please visit our website, www.baylor.edu tutoring, for more details. Sick and bears.